So it's Monday the 2nd of November 2020 and it's grouting day for the first panel and I'm going to be using my Mappe Ultra Colour Plus 112 Medium Grey. I've got everything ready. I've got my rubber kidney. I've got mixing bowl water and gloves and spatula. So it's all about grouting today and the next few days. And if there's enough grout out of that batch, I'll be using it for panel two. OK, see you soon. OK, friends, I've just applied the first batch of grout onto the mosaic and it's applied very nicely and smoothly. Do you know, it depends on the kind of grout you use, sometimes depending on the colour you use. This is a smoother grout, this um, MAPE 112 medium grey. Um, if I used my favourite 144 chocolate, it would be more sand based and this has a little bit more of a softer consistency. So I've just applied that and I'm now going to show you how I mix my grout. Okay friends, so basically with um, grout I tend to use three parts of powder, so something like three beakers, just a normal beaker, depending on the size you use. Uh, but I like, I like to use something like a, a 10 centimetre high beaker. Three parts of powder to one part of water. But like all cooking-esqueness, I don't tend to measure that bit. Um, I go by the texture of it and the feel of whether all the ingredients have been incorporated. So very quickly I'm going to mix this up for you and I'm going to add water to this until it's done. So hold up. So I've been mixing the grout and the water. Do you know it's very difficult doing this? with grout all over your camera. It's not a good look. So, as you can see, it's quite, this grey is quite a creamy consistency. You could make it a little bit thicker, but it, it, it's a good, it's a good consistency really. I like it this thick actually. I think with the sanded grout, the 144 chocolate, you can make it really thick. Whereas this, I think, I feel that this would be forever this kind of consistency. Okay, so let me pop you over here, like so. Let's get you a little bit wider. There you go, and let's just do this section here for you. So with the rubber kidney, I apply a nice wadge of grout into all the crevices. Making sure you don't forget any. And if you forget some, if you forget some holes and bits and bobs, that's all right. You can just go over it afterwards quite forgiving. I have to say, grouting isn't my favourite thing, but uh, you know, I know that this will work. So, now the reason why I use a rubber kidney is because of the flexibility of it all. It's quite a flexible little piece of equipment, which is often used, normally used in pottery to smooth down surfaces of your pots 
Whereas for me, because of the flexibility of it, A, it doesn't scratch into your mosaic, particularly your mirror. And B, because I've got different heights in my mosaic making, you can be quite clever with that and it will go into all the crevices. So I'm going to continue with that until I finish up this little batch. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, I'm on to the second panel now and as it's nice and flat I thought I would just get on with grouting it. You're very welcome to watch. <laughs> Well friends, it's Tuesday the 3rd of November 2020 and I've now got the two grey grouted panels in the hallway up on the landing in my house. Um, thankfully I had a friend to give me a hand just now to put them in so I can start with the other two. But they still need a darn good clean and there are a few little holes which I'll be cleaning up and um, infilling with a little bit of grout. So there's one or two little holes going on, but it's not too bad and they do look delightful. I'm going to do a decent couple of photos of those later on in the week. So I'm going to work on these two panels, Rongoli and Market Day. And I'll be using Mape's 144 chocolate grout which is gorgeous and a beautiful generous gift by the chaps and chapesses from Mape for me to use on this project very kind of them okay onward and upward So friends, it's quarter past one on Tuesday afternoon and I've got to the stage where I think I'm going to have a little bit of a break with 
grouting this mama. So I have grouted her uh, probably like three quarters of it done. So I'm still to grout this area which will be a bit sculptural but I think I'm really pleased with how it's working out so far and it's very clean. So clean in terms of lines and it's standing out perfectly as I thought brown grout would. Now I'm going to wash this down later on when it's completely dry but I'm pleased with this. So this is what the work looks like so far. Okay friends, um, I'm on to the fourth and final panel now. I've just applied the grout onto it and this one's called Rongoli with hot colours and I thought I'd use a brown grout and what I've done is I've applied the grout in but now top tip I'm going to whilst it's still curing very gently carve out the grout now obviously I'll be wearing gloves but I I can't do the two things together with camera and thumb on. So, um, but very gently and carefully, I'll be cleaning away the grout. Now, I've done that in this section here, and as you can see, it's nice and clean. So, that's the plan now. See you soon. Okay friends, so it's Friday the 6th of November 2020 and after just under 25 days I've completed the Hodge Hill Commission Unity and Diversity Part 2 and I, this is when I wish this room was bigger but uh, it's very difficult to take photographs of the whole of the project in one go but I thought I'd give you some close-ups of the work and I'll take some close-up photos as well. It has been excellent doing this work. It's, like I said, it's only taken me 25 days and usually this kind of project would take about 10 days per panel. So extremely happy with the results and the work in progress photos have been sent to the school and they're very pleased as well and next week um, the services that work for the school i.e the caretaker <laughs> etc will be collecting next week in the van and it will be installed forthwith so I've got six holes per panel and they're going to install it. And the next film that you'll see and photographs you will see after this film will be when I'm at the school to see it. Um, who knows when that will be with lockdown <laughs> as it is. <clears throat> anyway, speak to you soon. Bye.